Hey YouTube, this is NJ Full Water 5 and uh, I've got another A123, I guess, hack for you. Um, we're trying to figure out how that we could use these A123 packs, you know, for the full voltage or, you know, use the complete uh, the complete battery with uh, the BMS. i done a lot of research and I'm not really, you know, that versed at electronics when it comes to BMS's and all that good stuff. I know just the basics. Um, there's another YouTuber on here that had uh, some of the uh, medical pack. Of the I think they're the ones the Boston sells, and he figured out that the handshake, if you left a charge while it had a load, it would activate it and it would let it you know it let it continue to to uh, discharge. But that was the only way. I'm assuming these are the exact same way. I'm not going to get that far into it. Um, there's another guy on Facebook that's doing some research on it. I left him some pictures and some uh, names of the FETs and the ICs and all that stuff. But I got to thinking about it and uh, looking at the balance on this board and some of the other boards that I've had to deal with. I think this thing has an active balancer on it, which is a good thing. If it has an active balancer on it, as long as you keep an eye on the charge, on the discharge, you should be fine because having an active balance on there, even when it discharges, it's still going to keep it's, it's still going to keep the cells balanced all the way down to zero. And because these cells are so well matched, I bet you when you discharge this battery, it takes every cell down to two. Um, so what I thought is I thought, well, okay, how am I going to run some cables? So I got to looking at it and uh, you can't just run. I thought maybe I could run a positive and then just use the negative. But when you do that, you end up with uh, less voltage. Like right now the voltage is sitting at... Thirty-nine point eight. So, if I take these off and I go to the negative of the battery, which I believe is this one right here, you go to the negative of the battery and then the positive, you're getting 39.8. A while ago, I wasn't getting 39.8, something was off. That's weird, which is not a big deal. I still don't think I'm going to use it that way. I think what I'm going to end up doing, because a while ago when I ran the voltage like that, I was getting less. Yeah, well, now I'm getting exactly the same. I think one of the FETs must have been engaged, and I must have messing around with it. might have knocked one out. Let me see what happens. Yeah. But you can pretty much put it on anywhere on here. So what I'm thinking of doing is hacking this to where I can use it. Um, this only has 12, uh, 12 pins on it. So what I'm thinking I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take these wires and I'm going to run them to each cell in sequence. And then I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm going to run it all down the top. All six from the top is going to be one section. All, si all six from the bottom is going to be the bottom section. That'll let me, you know... If I need to, I can break out with the with the multimeter and check each cell voltage just to you know kind of keep an eye on it. And I also thought, well, okay, maybe I could run just some you know some eight gauge or something across these you know solder it and then throw it back inside the case. But if I do that, this is going to stick out too far. And if it sticks out too far, it's not going to fit back in the case, and the case won't close correctly. So what I plan on doing is after I run the BMS wires all the way across these I'm gonna go ahead and take some 8 gauge and this is the thickness of the 8 gauge I'm gonna roll it up and I'm gonna tin it and then I'm gonna tin in these little grooves right here and you gotta be careful when you tin in these grooves not to touch any of these other wires I'm gonna tin inside the grooves then I'm gonna tin the wire and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this cause it's like it'll fit right down in the grooves just perfectly I'll press it down towards flush and I'll knock out these little plastic, there's like a little plastic, I guess, nub right there and a plastic nub right there. I'm going to knock that nub out 
and I'm gonna run the wire across here and through this little loop right here and then in the front I'm just gonna run it out the front and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a hot and cold out the very front of it and then I'm going to put a 100 volt of 100 volt um, I guess it'd be a voltmeter to keep track of the voltage with a on off on button and so what that means is I'll be able to use this to discharge and I'll be able to use this to charge and the reason why I'd use this to charge is because it'll make sure that while it charges it'll charge it evenly so I don't know what kind of a hack that is but that might be a you know a quick hack to get you by um, they recommend that you just take this BMS off and go with the 12S BMS but looking online I think the cheapest I could find was $45 for a 60 amp which is more than enough for this um, and then for the 100 amp I think was $85 but let's just say you don't have that kind of money and you just want to go with keeping an eye on the voltage yourself and running a hot and cold so I'm going to run a hot and cold through these and we'll run out the end and then we'll throw it back in the case and uh, see what we have okay guys I don't know if uh I'll probably cut that part out or where I tried to put uh, these uh, balance cables on uh, come to find out after I made this cable uh, I made a cable for it I was gonna plug it in right here um, I'm gonna have to dissect one of these and have a look inside there because uh, I connected one of the negatives and it kind of gave a little spark like it was touching something so uh, I have a feeling that not only are these connected to this right here, they're connected to the negative and positive of uh, the input too. So um, you can't use this as a balance lead um, and have to refigure that and figure out what I did wrong. Or probably so many are positive and so many are negative. It could be vice versa or maybe all the bottom is negative and all the top is positive. I don't know. Uh, for now. I'm gonna bypass that one. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, I guess worst case scenario, if I ever feel these are out of balance, I can always um, open it up and uh, check it out. Maybe do a little testing a little bit later on just to see if maybe something got off. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, you cannot use this as a balance uh, as balancing as I had originally planned so we'll move on to the next step which would be um, adding a uh, uh, discharge cables
All right, YouTube. Um, that's a way to, I guess, hack this so that you can use this for power. Um, I don't really recommend doing it this way. And the reason why I say don't, I don't recommend doing it this way is there's no way to single sell. There's no way to um, keep an eye on the sales as a discharge. You'll have, uh, you could be discharging this on, let's say, an inverter, for instance. And uh, if you're discharging directly from the battery with uh, no protection, um, it might discharge all the way down past two volts, which is dangerous for these batteries. So I don't recommend uh, doing it exactly this way. If you do do it this way, don't take your batteries down to two volts. You might want to take them down to maybe 2.5 or, you know, where, wherever the 2.5 is times 12 is for this. Uh, you don't want to take them all the way down to two volts because you more than likely because you're not you're not able to monitor the cells as they go down and there's no protection you could end up losing the pack or you could end up losing quite a few cells um, it has active balancing on there but for some reason you can only use it while you're charging uh, you can only use the two little uh, I guess outputs here when you're charging the handshake I guess is the issue so because of that issue you you can I can charge from here should charge perfectly fine shouldn't have no issues it'll it'll balance them as it charges uh, the only issue like I said would be uh, no you know no protection for when the cells get down to you know the end of charge so what I actually recommend doing uh, is taking the BMS BMS off completely and getting yourself a 12 s BMS I know a guy locally who sells them pretty at a decent price and he, he actually, I actually talked to him the other day and he said that everything they ship out within 24 hours and he said they're usually three day priority mail. Um, he has a 12S BMS uh, 60 uh, amp I believe for 45 bucks and an 80 amp I believe he has for 85 bucks. Um, I'll leave the description down. I'll leave the links down in the description so you guys can head over there and grab those. More than likely, that's what I'm going to end up doing to this pack. Uh, I have a project coming up in the future that I think I can use four of these packs for. Uh, once the funds become available, I'm going to buy me three more of these packs. And I'm going to buy me uh, four of those BMSs. Granted, that means that the pack's going to cost you $100 total after everything's said and done. That doesn't include the shipping. So, uh, it's really up to you how you want to use these. Um, so, this is the way that uh, battery hookup, or actually, uh, battery hookup had mentioned that we could do it this way. He said uh, the only problem is monitoring the cells, and making sure we don't, you know, take them down too far. So, as always, you know, I'm not saying I did it the best way. I'm not saying this was the easiest way. I'm sure there's easier ways out there to do it than the way I did. So if you have any, you know, if, if you want to add anything to the video, go ahead and leave them down in the description. Uh, if you have any questions about why I did something a certain way, leave them down in the description. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I will check you guys out in my next video.